Welcome back, everyone, to Sports Blitz Live. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. I'm uh, Luke, Luke Robinson has stepped aside. Now I'm joined by the president of Lyman Ward Military Academy, uh, retired Lieutenant Colonel Jared Norell. We really appreciate you joining us this evening. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. Uh, well, let's uh, first and just talk a little bit about yourself. You uh, have just uh, recently become the president. Uh, you were the vice president. When, uh, when did you come to Lyman Ward? Well, I've been down at Lyman Ward for almost three years. Um, retired from the Army in 2012 and moved down to beautiful Camp Hill, Alabama from uh, Colorado Springs. From and Colorado Springs. That's quite a... Uh, yeah, yes, sir. It was a, a little bit, it was a little bit of adjustment um, from us coming down from Colorado. I'm originally from Texas, though, and having been in the military, I've kind of lived all over the place. But uh, we came down and looked at Lyman Ward Military Academy, and they were looking for a commandant. And, Came down and fell in love with the place, and we've been here ever since. So what, uh, I mean, what, what led you to that? Obviously, a career military man. Yes, sir. Uh, any connection with Lyman Ward? Um, probably a, lo a loose connection. There was a, uh, a gentleman that used to run the academy, uh, Colonel Jenrette, Albert Jenrette, and his son um, went to Lyman Ward, and he graduated. And I went to school up at North Georgia College with him in the 90s, and then we both commissioned into the Army. So... Um, years later, that's how they kind of found me through that North Georgia College connection, and uh, we came back down. I've lived in the South, and you know, having lived over in Georgia, I went to Auburn for a little while before I transferred up Boy. to North Georgia. I went a couple quarters uh, longer than Jimmy Buffett, I think. So, <laughs> um, but I, ne I needed some of that military structure, and I went up to North Georgia, and that's where I, I commissioned from. So, all right. Well, let's talk a little bit about Lyman Ward in general. Uh, you know, obviously, it's been around. What since the eight hundred and hundred and nineteen years? That's uh, quite a uh, yes, sir. Quite a lineage. Uh, what well, now? You're the president. Uh, yes, sir. What uh, what what's going on right now at uh, Lyman Ward? What's your vision uh, okay. as you take over? Well, you know, it's it's really an exciting time at the academy. We've had a we've kind of had a changing of the guard. There's a lot of, a lot of gentlemen that work around the academy that are you know aging out, and we've got a new crew coming in. We've got a a younger dean, also a retired army colonel. Um, that's taking over our academic department. We're, we're bringing technology into our classrooms. We've upgraded our campus. Um, believe it or not, as of only a couple of years ago, we did not have air conditioning in our dorms. Mm -hmm. So now we've got air conditioning in our dormitories, and uh, we're one of the few boarding schools in the state of Alabama. We have kids from, or primarily our students come from Alabama, um, but we've got kids from all over the world and all over the country that attend our academy, and we're an all-male military boarding school. Um, and one of only 13 left in the country right now. Really? Yes, sir. Um, Approximately so, how many uh, cadets? Right now I've got 100 students um, enrolled um, at, at the school, and those are all boarding students. But next year we're looking at opening up our campus to day students. So um, kids that live in the local area or students that live in the local area be able to come to school at Lyman Ward, participate in sports activities, but then go at home, go home at night like a normal school. Um, and that's a new program for us that we're, we're rolling out next year, and we're excited about that. So we're hoping to get more involvement and more connection with the local community. Absolutely. And I'll, uh, you, we were talking about before the show, uh, we're talking about a very quality education. Yes, sir. We've got, we've got some fantastic um, teachers at Lyman Ward. We've got math teachers that have retired from the math department at University of Auburn, and now they're out there teaching eighth grade uh, algebra, and we love that. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, let's talk about uh, this, uh, an interesting idea, a neat idea uh, that you're uh, promoting right now for the, uh, for the summer, uh, summer camps. And we're talking about football, we're talking about band. Um, it, you said that, um, you know, you have a, a summer session, but um, most of the kids are, are, uh, are dismissed, I guess, or, or leave for the summer. That's right. We and we have a beautiful 300-acre campus over there in Camp Hill, and you know we've got buildings on there that um, go back to the turn of the century, and we've got dormitories. I've got a practice field, a regulation football field with lights. We've got these great facility out there, indoor swimming pool, dining facility, um, where we'll prepare the food for the, the students that come for the camp, whether it be a band or a football program. Um, and it, at a really good price, so our, We've got this beautiful facility that's kind of sitting empty out there. Um, and even when our summer program is going, we've got room to accommodate um, a very large football program. So, you know, 6-7-A wants to come down, we can accommodate that. We've got dorm space and bunks for up to 200 uh, students. 
So you're talking about a summer camp. Uh, we were talking about, uh, and everybody I think saw that uh, junction board. That's right. And uh, you kind of get the idea. And it, this is, you know, that that's the idea, I guess, for the for a camp like this. We're talking about like a, is it up to them, or are we talking about a week, or is it a standard? A length of time? I, that it, you know, it's up to what, whatever the organization wants. If they want to come out, we have some football camps we've had in the past that come out for two or three days. We've had some that will come out for a little bit longer than that. Um, usually, you know, the parents pay that fee, that daily rate. We only charge $40 a day, and that includes everything, food and lodging and all that stuff. Obviously, the coaching staff stays for free. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, nobody goes into the, you know, and, and we talked about it a little bit before the show, but, you know, the military really invented teamwork. It goes back to the time of the Roman Empire. And to get that isolation and that, to build that cohesion, often you got to get the distractions away. And everybody knows that that's been in sports. Take away the distractions, isolate them, put them in that environment where they can focus. And that's what our academy offers, a little bit of that seclusion. The, the ideal would be to uh, bring a team of players or bring a, a group of players and leave as a team. That's right. Uh, exactly but, right. So, I mean, but like you said, this is – open for uh, football programs, open for band programs, whatever the, the case might be. Uh, how, how, would, uh, how would these uh, high schools or, or whatever, junior highs, whatever the case might be, how would they get in touch with you about this? Hey, well, you know, they can call me, um, contact me, my, and my phone number is um, 256-675-6396. And we're going to shoot some stuff out as well, but um, we have a pretty uh, good website at lwma.org. Um, and so they can, you know, check out the campus and look at the environment there as well. Okay. Uh, well, anything else we need to hit on? Anything else any important? No, I, I just, uh, we'd love to have the more, the more folks out, the better. We'd really like to, uh, to open up our campus and keep it as active as possible. We've got a beautiful campus. There's lakes out there. We've got running trails. We're going to have a leadership challenge course. We've got air-conditioned gymnasiums. Um, and the lights are, are handy, especially in the heat. Right. in the summer here so if coaches want to get out there and practice at four o'clock in the morning they can um, right. and that's what we that's what we're hoping to try it this year and forty dollars per student per day that's just sir i don't think you can beat that that's an outstanding price for uh, a quality experience like that and the great facilities air conditioned for that's right facilities. that's right <laughs> and i'm sure uh yeah and what three squares a day yeah oh yeah we got we'll feed them well and we'll take care of them out there um and then we've got nice dorms with shower facilities and all that stuff. So we're, we are set up for a football camp or a, a band camp. Well, outstanding. Uh, that is the president of Lyman Ward Military Academy, retired Lieutenant Colonel Jared Norrell. We really appreciate you joining us. Thank you, sir. Absolutely. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more of Sports Blitz Live right after this.